Well, why, hello there, everyone. My name is Jurassic Insider, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Jurassic World, the game. I decided to visit the Carnaraptor. The Devil Horns is absolutely awesome. Come on, come on, look at this thing. It is so cool. It's so gosh darn cool. Anyways, I don't know why I thought that, but I really like this section of the park, actually, doing this whole idea where we can farm coins, but it also looks really good. Although, I'd like to fill it eventually with all hybrids, because hybrids do end up making more coin. And I probably have other hybrids. I just haven't checked on it in a while. Like, yeah, there's definitely more creatures that are better than T-Rex and Tyranitide in terms of coin production. So, I'll have to check that out. But for now, I love this area. It's very cool. But regardless, uh, today's video, I want to focus on a couple of things. Not really do anything too crazy, but just sort of uh, look at some creatures and sort of evolve them and then we'll do some battle stuff maybe at the end uh the first ones the main ones i want to cover uh starting off with rodrigo i went ahead and leveled it up because i needed it because it's a flock creature and we had the tournament a couple weeks ago when how long ago was that the gorgas Suchis tournament that was like maybe like two weeks ago so it wasn't too long ago but here's rodrigo and <laughs> these guys are cute they look like dodos so they're not super different or unique but they're good, and I'm glad they aren't super big health tanks, so that's good. Dina Karras here is quite good as well. Now, I, I, it's not, it's, <laughs> it's good to have, but it's not really a good creature, unfortunately. If you look at, I didn't, I, you know, in my last video, we were, we were messing around with creatures, right? And it didn't really hit me until I really looked at it. Where is Brachiosaurus? Okay, there's Brachiosaurus, right? 429 health, or four, sorry, 429 attack, 1,372 attack, so, sorry, health. So that's level 20, tournament creature. If we scroll down, there's Dina Karras with a whopping 427 attack, which is good, about on par with Brachiosaurus, but 586 attack, less than half the health. Sorry, I think I said attack again, but health. That is... So absurd to me. So genuinely absurd to me here. I can show you right beside each other if I do attack. Yeah, look at that. Like, even if Dina Karras had, like, two more attack than Brachiosaurus, that would still be embarrassing. But the fact that it has to way less. Now, granted, I give Dina Karras a pass because this was back way long ago. I think the only tournament creatures that were out were Megalosaurus. Obviously, Mosasaurus. And Mosasaurus was so bad. Uh, but it didn't matter because compared to all the other water creatures, it was good. Megalosaurus was genuinely good. It still is. Gorgosaurus came out around that time. That's not the best. Eudoranus is not the best. What else came? Ceratosaurus is not the best. Dinocaris is the worst of them all. And I think we didn't get pterosaurs or amphibians for nearly two years after that. So those were the only ones that really came out. I think uh, there might have been another one. Probably carnivores, yeah. Second Dinosaurus or whatever. So... Yeah, <laughs> Brachiosaurus was, of course, added in 2019, so it was much later. Interesting and interestingly enough, but hey, I'm glad we have it. We have another one, so I can I can make a level 30. Like I can do it. I'm fine with it, but I don't think it's super necessary. And then we have Blue, which will evolve today, and I'm excited for this one. I would I prefer the base design. It's so much better than when you level it up and it gets the blue or gassy effect. <laughs> it's just very weird. And I'm interested to see if that has its own unique animation like the big one. I hope it does. Uh, Terraquazel is another episode still. Unfortunately, I will get to that as soon as possible. But it is a tournament hybrid, so I want to give it the the impact. And Cap Suit just I almost forgot about Capro. Capri. Capri Gen 2. So we'll check out Capricorn. And I, I think that's it in terms of what I wanted to level up for today's episode. So we'll do that. I think we'll start with... Um, Start with blue, yeah. We'll do the blue. I don't think it has an interesting feeding. I don't think the big one doesn't have an interesting feeding animation either, or a unique one. Just the battle animation. So maybe this one does too. I don't think so, because I've seen it in battle and it's not anything too special. At least from my perspective. Now, thankfully, this is a, a glass cannon, which is a big contrast from the big one, who was not really a health tank, but it was pretty well balanced. 1280 health, I think, and maybe like 400 attack. This guy almost has 400 attack at level 10, which is amazing. So this will be awesome to see. I can't wait. I think blue is going to be a big, big help. And it's blue, man. I love blue. She is adorable. She's just truly awesome. I love the sizing too. I think they made it a bit smaller. Or maybe, I think this is the actual model, but it's got a bit of an impact to it. I love the design. It's so freaking cool. Although, although blue doesn't really have that stature now that you look at it with the long fingers and the way that it screeches. Like, we do that again. No, 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 that's not what we do. That, that, 
Yeah, well, that is, that is reminiscent of blue. That I think that would... Because I think whenever they made the Velociraptor model back in 2015, they did sort of model it after blue. But it's not it's not quite one-on-one. -on -one. So I think whenever you adopt the animation for the actual blue creature, the star creature, it doesn't, it doesn't quite mesh well. Like, this looks really nice. This looks really nice. Even the base design. It looks really nice. It fits really well. And I, I really, really like the big one in terms of its design that design is fantastic so this is more in the middle i think it adopts the thing that's in the movie but it works well enough i guess and there we go it's a bit more blue just a shimmer of blue as we call it the the funniest one is definitely the green one on rexy <laughs> the green or the yellow whatever he has he has like the gas i think it's blue has or not blue sorry uh bumpy has that as well Good old Bumpy. I think the only ones that they needed to add, honestly, are Rexy, Blue. Bumpy, Bumpy's fair enough, because it, it's iconic to Camp Cretaceous. I think that's fair enough. That, that's literally it. I don't think they really had to add anything else. I mean, I'm glad Buck and Bo- Not Buck and- I always say that. Buck and Doe were there, and Toro, I guess. But they're just not super interesting. Okay, here we go. So, she a bit more blue than I thought. Just, just blue shimmer. Um, it's gorgeous, though. 789 held. 575 attacks so what is that oh my god that's nearly as good as t-rex so that's pretty solid that is really really solid i'm glad it is and it's better than proceratosaurus for sure so let's see it is better than the big one yeah quite a bit better. it looks like it's a lot better but it's not because all these vip creatures are like around the same but in reality like the big one's right there and then blue is like the next one after the vip creatures still worse than brachiosaurus of course because brachiosaurus is one of the best ones definitely better than blue yeah what is that like 600 extra health and loses about like 150 attacks so yeah definitely better but still very, very excellent. I'd say in terms of carnivore, that's got to be up there, right? Yeah, it's decently up there. A little bit worse than us for... Uh, decently worse than us for Kosaurus, actually. But better than Proceratosaurus, like I said. So, quite good. Quite good all around. I do think that's going to be useful. And then I think I wanted to cover who... Ca oh, Caprasuch. Okay, this is the one I'm excited for. This is the one I'm excited for. I already leveled up him up because he's so good. He is so good. I think he's the best tournament amphibian. I am so excited. This guy is sick. Look at it, It's red. Oh my god. I we need to do max regular Capro 2, Capri Gen 1. Uh, the Capro. Ooh, that maroon. Oh yeah. Is that even maroon? Not really. It's more of like an orange and just red. Oh, dang. That looks good. I love the way its face looks. Unfortunately, I always, always get disappointed because the face model on the card looks so crisp and clean and then the real model like that red under marking underneath its eye is just not there and if it is it's a bit faded on the final design so i just wish it was more prominent i think the biggest one of those that's like i always notice is uh freaking giganotosaurus i think where is that is that this one yeah look giganotosaurus looks so bright and orange and then you look at it it's so dull like it's okay i get i guess it's more realistic but that's not really what i come for whenever i play this game you know uh, but let's see. Did we did we finish it? Yeah, we did. Okay, okay. Uh, how much did it have? 1,341 health and 419 attack. So that's very similar to Brachiosaurus. Will be a little bit worse, I think. Let's see. Is it better than blue? It is blue. Okay, that's what I thought. So a little bit less, like 30 less health than Brachy. About 10 less than... 10 less attack. So quite good. Quite good. I do like it quite a bit. So we can use those at some point. Uh, if not in today's episode in another episode but the actual event that i want to try today because i don't think that we have much time is this one i'm gonna try to do this aquatic wave as well i have a feeling i'm gonna do most of it off camera but i'll try to do it but this one's particularly interesting the collector's exchange it doesn't have a fantastic reward that's weird that the diplomator is back there usually they sort it by rarity but whatever uh so i guess that is sorted by rarity technically uh so this is for the diploma dipl dip dipl Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm like, why do you guys even watch me? <laughs> it's better than Diplocalus Gen 2 because, look, you can, uh, you need a certain amount of creatures to get that. So, yeah, it, I don't know if that made any sense. But, yeah, the pack's not amazing, but it's a really hard event. Uh, thankfully, you get mods and they don't. So, th I think there's a way to figure this out. I already used three of my best carnivores. So, I'm going to try this with Indominus. You know what? No, no, we screw Indominus. <laughs> we'll use a flock. We'll use comp we actually we can use the other ah we'll use that compy and then those two are probably gonna have to be it so what i'm thinking is for compy what is gonna help you what they're gonna have about oh my god 
Is this possible? Because Sarko can kill us in one hit. Sarko can easily kill us. We got to go all out with the mods here. We need to go all out. Even then, I don't know how great that Because, okay, both Coolosaurus, Coolosuchus, and Sarko can kill us in one hit. We do not want that. We want to fix that immediately. With Compsignate. Okay, how about we do things that help themselves? Okay, how about... For Compi, we give them extra attack, okay? With Compi, we give them extra attack. Or we could do Inspire. Inspire's quite good. We'll do Inspire. Increase... HP by 75%. That's a lot. That is a lot. Attack by 40% also a lot. So we'll do that. Everything that will boost it. Likely we won't need bind because they won't switch. It might. Lim Limna Skeelys might switch because it's the weakest by a, a landslide. Uh, then and for both of these, we got to do something that gives them more health. There's no way. There's no other way. I mean, we could do one of these, but I just don't see these helping all that much. Maybe regenerate might help. I just don't know though something that helps give it more just give i mean we could do these common mods but that just feels wrong because it just doesn't feel good enough increase hp by 20 percent is quite good but we can do better we can do better we could do splinter splinter sounds good i'll do splinter and then for t-rex i've got to do something that makes it better we'll do Al no, not Alpha. Alpha helps the teammates. I don't know, dude. Uh, shoot. He could do... Okay. I'm thinking either Charge or Vitality. How much is 20%? 20% 20 of 1,600. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm sorry. I feel embarrassed, but I have to put up a cal pull up a calculator. I'm not doing that in my head. Just for precision, okay? I could try. But just for precision shake, sake. Shit. Yeah, shake. Uh... It is not 20. It is not 20% of 1600. It is not 20. Let's do that again. 320. Okay. So it gets about 1900 health, which is about much as QX. That's not a lot. That's really not a lot. Plus, what it gets from Inspire, though, which is an extra 75. That's a lot. That will base. So basically, it's health. Its health will double. Am I crazy for saying that? Is that correct? I do not know. But I think its health will double if we do that. And that's a fair trade-off. That is a fair. By that metric, we should be giving T-Rex Gen 2 Splinter. And we should be giving... Sorry, we give regular T-Rex Splinter. And then we give T-Rex Gen 2, I think, Vitality. Yeah, that has to be it. I'm... I'm kind of prepared to lose here just because I don't, I need, I kind of don't want to spend bucks on those other guys. Granted, we will lose. Okay, that really did a lot for how, oh wow, okay, okay, okay. So, tier 2 is at 4,000 health. Their attack is not looking very good at all. I wish the attack was a lot better. We probably should have prioritized that. Um, okay. Okay, 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 okay. We got to try our best. <sighs> I think we're no longer in two. We might, we might be in two shot territory with uh, Sarko and Cool Source with. So maybe it didn't help all that much. Dang it. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. We will see. It really depends. So I'll just try to get rid of each one of them one by one. We want to keep as many creatures as they have. If that makes sense. But Compi is really not going to do much in terms of attack. Like it, it even if it goes for full eight, it cannot attack. And not do anything. Okay. So obviously we gotta switch here. We're gonna switch to T Rex. Okay. We're gonna switch. We could have done that better. We should have put T Rex first. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And T Rex is dead. Unless if it has three. Oh shoot, no, T-Rex is not dead. We could have gone for, what the? What in the world happened? He had a block? Okay. Um. So we're dead. Shoot, okay. 
Um, does Splinter work when he's dead? I don't think so. I don't think, yeah, they grayed out. Okay. One, two, three. Sarkasukas is so flipping strong. It's not even funny. It has 2,400 attack. That is ludicrous. Even when we're able to use all our creatures, we do not face things with 2,400 attack. Okay. Switching in. Oh, okay. Wonderful. We didn't get an extra one. Okay. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Okay. We, I'm glad we took off a little bit off Sarko. Ooh, that's not good. That is not. I think I might have lost us the game. If you didn't do that, I would have felt so much better. Oh, shoot. What? Oh, my God. What happened? We got jeopardized. We lost. We lost. Oh my god, we got jeopardized so hard. Oh my god, that is so sad. I felt like we were there, but we lost our health out of nowhere. Truly sad, truly sad. I will not be reattempting that event. That event is very, very difficult and not worth my time. Wow, good to know, though. Good to know that that was very difficult. I would love to try, try it if I had done it a little bit earlier. If I had done it a little bit earlier, but yeah, I lost... I don't really care that I lost that many mods. I, I care about Inspire. I love that mod, and I never, never, ever get it, so... That was a bit unfortunate. We'll, we'll roll mods right now, actually. We'll do Super Rare and Legendary. Uh, we'll roll those right now. I have plenty of DNA, so I can spend that. Yeah, a bit unfortunate. That was that was not as... Uh, what, I want Inspire. I really do. That was a bit unfortunate, but, uh, yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. Maybe I should have expected. I don't know. Let me know. Toxin's a good one. Toxin's a good one. Uh, but, anyways, I think that's gonna go to wrap up this one. Unless we want to try something else, just because we kind of ended on a sour note. I guess, I don't know. We could try to level up, actually. Also, uh, let's see how this far get, this gets us. Okay, first Stegosaurus Gen 2. Awesome. So, I might actually go and collect that. Also, I think we have... Oh, yeah, we have another incubation chamber. They brought it back. I don't know if it's temporary again. Probably is, but... Yeah, don't want to get too excited, but yeah, it is very cool. It's the 100 buck one, though. So, I think, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and end it off. Uh, or, or we could, we could try missions. Have six lava craters. Uh, let's try that, actually. That sounds fun. So, put some lava craters over here, just randomly. Three, four, five, six. Doop, doop, doop. All right, that's a mission, and that should bring us to level 79, or at least very close. The Ambrose will be prepared, but I will not deliver them myself. I'm a cool scientist. Fine, fine, you made your point. You're good, bad. Claire, do you want to go on a date? No, thanks. I'm with Owen. Oh, understood. I got it. Don't worry. All right, have four mystery car cabins and open a card pack. Okay, we'll do that another time. Uh, but until then, uh, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Jurassic World the Game. It's a pretty fun one until we lost, but, you know, that was, that was to be expected. It's not that big of a deal. And uh, until then, I will see you all next time. I'll, I'll see Capri. Capri. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I'll see you all next time. This is Jurassic Insider, signing out.